you 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 and you you all are fired and you you are getting promoted can you explain me how did you get promoted simple because i've been using chat gpt and other ai tools i'm being able to do all of their work single handedly and who taught you all this this guy let's first start by understanding what is chat gpt i'm sure a lot of you may have already heard about it and a lot of you may have been already using it but for those who don't let's just quickly see what chat gpt is so chat gpt is a conversational agent developed by openai and it's powered by their advanced gpt or generative pre trained transformer technology technology that's changing the landscape of ai and automation as we know it so chat gpt is something which has really changed the way that we've been uh, doing our work using the technology using the internet in the past 12 months i would say and it keeps on developing earlier we had chat gpt 3 then 3.5 now we have chat gpt 4 and it may not be long where in we see chat gpt 5 as well now coming on to the next topic which is what are plugins in context of chat gpt so the plugins are additional modules that extend the chatbot's capabilities beyond its core functions these plugins can add a wide range of functionalities from helping you to create designs or write code to providing specialized information in fields like healthcare or finance and much more essentially they allow chatgpt to interact with other software or databases to perform tasks it wouldn't be able to do on its own so gpt may not be able to do on its own but it requires additional softwares to get the desired results now that we know what chatgpt is and what chatgpt plugins are let's see how you can install them and how you can use them So guys before we move on to see how we can install and use chat gpt plugins i would like to bring it to your notice that we at btnx have organized a 3 hours workshop on ai tools and chat gpt wherein we show you how to use ai tools and how you can use many of these chat gpt plugins and i'm sure that this workshop will really really help you so i'll uh, keep the link of this workshop in the description below you can have a look and uh, you can register for the workshop today itself i'm sure you'll really get to learn a lot from it okay now talking about how to install chat gpt plugins uh, obviously the first thing that we need to do is that we need to come on to the chat gpt's website which is chat.openai.com now one thing that we need to ensure here is that we have access to chat gpt4 which is the paid version Unfortunately the plugins feature is not yet available to the free version which is ChatGPT 3.5 so I'm sorry if you do not have ChatGPT 4 but uh, you need ChatGPT 4 in order to uh, in order to use any of the plugins so now what we need to do is we need to select ChatGPT 4 here and what we can first ensure is that we go to the sidebar here we scroll down to the three dots and uh, we see that uh there is an option of settings and beta and from here we go to the beta features and here we need to ensure that the plugins are enabled so once we do that we come back here obviously guys you need to uh, firstly log in into chat gpt through your gmail so that's obviously a must and after that you have an account you can do this now what we'll do is we'll click on gpt4 and here we see a variety of options but we are only concerned with the plugins so we just press the plugins and now we come to the main plugins part here we can see that no plugins are enabled so we just go to this arrow here we click on it and now we can see a list of plugins that are here so what we need to firstly see is that at any given time only 3 plugins can be enabled and we cannot use more than 3 plugins at a time and um let's say you want to use any plugin and you're not able to see them here you just scroll down and you can see the plugin store here so this is where all the magic happens and you can install any of the plugins that you want and you can see that there are so many plugins here and this list keep uh and this list keeps getting updated almost each and every week and here we have some categories like which are the new plugins which plugins we have installed already which are the popular ones and so on and so forth now let's say i want to use the plugin of 
Canva, right? So I'll just search Canva here and I'll be easily able to find it. Since I've already installed it, it is showing me the feature of uninstall. But for you, it may say install. Now, uh, since I have already, uh, since I already have it on my system, I'll go here. I'll just enable the Canva plugin. And now we can just type a prompt. Help me make a YouTube thumbnail uh, for AI. And we can see that uh, ChatGPT has already enabled the Canva plugin. And now, as we can see, it will start to give us some templates directly from the Canva library. And this is only possible through the plugin. ChatGPT does not have its own capabilities to produce any thumbnails. Now it is using the help of Canva to show us the thumbnails that we have asked for. So as we stop generating it, you can try it for your own. And that's about it, guys. Uh, this is how you can install the ChatGPT plugins. You need to have the ChatGPT4 subscription. And I personally think that it is actually worth the money. And uh, it really helps because there are so many different, different uh, plugins and it really helps you to do a lot of your tasks. So guys, that's about it from us for this video. I'll once again ask you to check out the 3 hours chat GPT and AI tools workshop. I'm sure you will learn a lot from it. And if you want to know more about the chat GPT plugins, you can check the video that is uh, coming on your screen right now and I'll see you there.